Wow, racist WBA connected judge Gloria calls somebody else a monkey and then deactivates their Twitter account after being called out by Boxing Ego. We got to talk about it. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button, also subscribe to the channel. Throw a like on the video. We going hard. 2021 is up. Listen, I'm going to say this as quickly as possible. I made a detailed video about this very situation. I'll put a card at the end of this video. You got to watch that video. I really urge you to watch that video first in its entirety, then come back to this video because I'm just going to quickly rehash and recap what was discussed, but I'm not doing the same work twice. So watch that first video to get caught up to speed. I'm going to give you quick cliff notes. Michael Fox was robbed on Fox. He fought for a WBA interim title against an Olympian. He should have won the fight 10, 11, 12 rounds, and he had a knockdown. Later, we find out that the judge that had the most unbelievable scorecard was also a racist. In addition, we find out that judge, WBA judge Gloria Hernandez, is married to a WBA executive, Ricardo Rizzo. That's why her last name has Rizzo in it now. So if you're waiting for an investigation to a horrendous 117-110 card that's seen Michael Fox, a black fighter, lose and get robbed, he says don't. So this is a bad look. Now the movie plot thickens. So we already seen a robbery, right? The WBA posted this, Gabriel Maestre beats Michael Fox by unanimous decision. I'm sure all the comments disagree. Look, robbery, my boy art man. ESPN reporter, shameful. The truth is the gifted belt is worthless considering it makes Maestre the WBA fourth current welterweight champion alongside Pacquiao who legitimately won. This is an ESPN reporter and Cuban, your Dennis Ugas and Jamal James, the term champion should be earned, not given. Shout out to Bernardo for his comments, right? And this is the judge that did it. She was leaving racist and, you know, all kinds of pro-Trump insurrection type comments, which I talked about in detail in the video. Now she has deactivated her account. Boom. You never know, boom. The tweet is from an account that no longer exists. So she deleted or deactivated her account because the pressure from my video became all too much. But I seen somebody checked her, called her out for her racist tweets, right? After my video came out on YouTube and not before her accounts now deleted or deactivated, but not before calling them a monkey, exhibit A. So she called Michelle Obama a monkey. She called her a monkey face. Again, you got to check the previous video so you can see it. I have screen recordings of everything so you can see it in real time. I'm not going to go over everything that I went over in that video, right? So somebody said, hey, WBA, we serious because of her racist tweets. And someone says, what do you expect from the WBA, bro? What do you expect from the WBA boxing, right? There she is. And she has the, and the funny thing about racist people like this, her default picture says, when your best friend is God, you are never alone. So you see how racists continue to bring religion and God into it, but have the filthiest behavior. So it's ironic, the irony that it says your best friend is God, but you got all these racist tweets. So someone, all they said was, what do you expect from the WBA boxing? She responded to it, okay, monkey face, your time is up, your time is gone, bye-bye. This is deplorable, this is sickening, and this cannot be accepted in boxing. How on earth do we have a judge calling everybody monkeys and monkey faces, and this is who Michael Fox lost to a fighter we know he didn't beat, and this is one of the judges that had him losing wide 117 to 110. Keep in mind, Michael Fox is black out of the DMV area. 
So you have a black athlete fighting a guy, an Olympian out of Venezuela, right? And he got robbed. And you got all these racist tweets. And she's now deactivated her account after calling someone a monkey again. Wow. Wow. Um, the WBA is looking horrible. Digital mob continues to lead the pack. I told you we need reform in boxing. This needs to have some some type of um, investigation. You know, they have to find a way to give Michael Fox his rightfully earned belt. Uh, I don't know what it's going to take if it has to become a federal level, but this is too brazen. So here I also talked about this. Here's a selection of racist tweets from Gloria Martinez Rizzo, the judge who scored tonight's fight between Gabriel Maestre and Michael Fox. 117 110 so nobody believes in her scorecard and it says she has a physical attraction to trump and disputed election results so she called michelle obama a monkey she said okay monkey face your time is gone which is what she said right and it says the co-founder of black lives matter had said get trump out of office she says killer jail is only a comfort so with these extremist views and kkk views she says, all lives matter, black Goya beans matter, whatever that's supposed to mean. So she's saying all lives matter. She's clearly not fond of um, black culture. She's here. She's making fun of LeBron, calling him Le Broom. She's treating him like an animal, says only could, all he could do is play basketball, go back into the stable as if he's a horse, you know, instead of a pro athlete and multimillionaire, you know. She says, my people, if you really want to hear the real news, go to the app parlor. So she's probably stormed Capitol Hill and was with that insurrection movement that got a lot of people in prison and um, charged. It says President Trump looks cute dancing, etc. And this is you have these type of strong per personal convictions and racist. Shout out to my boy Heyman's Planet. This racist criminal must be fired now. WBA boxing, boxing ego. So he knew to tag me. Let's go. I mean, this this behavior is criminal. Like. We can no longer consider uh, any judge that has these type of um, reactions and tweets and this type of personal disdain for black people, black culture. This this can't be accepted. Now, some people are saying, oh, it's not her because the account's not verified. And we have all the receipts. WBA on their verified page wba boxing and she's married to somebody within the wba as i've earlier stated they tagged her gloria martinez gloria riz won the award for female judge of the year so if you don't see the level of corruption this is this is appalling they previously in 2019 awarded her female judge of the year she just had a scorecard for a fight that nobody believes in 117 and 110 public boxers boxing promoters which you can find in my first video they've all said this was a joke and made boxing look bad but the wba previously in 2019 just a few years ago claimed she was the female judge of the year so she's female judge of the year and she's married to somebody within the wba organization higher ups and then now all these racist tweets come out. She gets called out for it. Boom, deletes and deactivates her Twitter. This can't this can't end here. I need you guys to share this video. I need you guys to comment on this video. This can't be tolerated. This can't be accepted. They robbed this kid, Michael Fox, and it was wrong. It was in broad daylight. It was without remorse. And just look at all the commentary. All if you're a real true boxing fan, this can't sit well with you. You know, it's not just about black and this and that. It's about right and wrong as well, right? But we won't tolerate black fighters being treated like this either, right? This kid came off a loss and now he's, he has a blemish record. If you go, if I go to his box rec right now, it's gonna appear like he is off two losses in a row and that's not right. That's not right. Because his box wreck, he has all these stains. Now it looks like he lost three times. 
and it looks like he lost two times in a row and he really didn't you see the look on this poor kid's face you'll be like damn i feel you got to feel for him because he knew at that very moment they were going to rob him and then to to make matters worse one of the people that robbed him is clearly an open racist they just deleted their account now that they got exposed and they're intertwined and connected with the wba exclusively man we need justice we need absolute justice share the video as i said we cannot tolerate this type of behavior in the world of boxing i'm sorry you know i'm not really sorry but this pos got to go she should never be allowed to judge in boxing again and you know the credit to her the only thing i'm going to give her credit for is that she's so brazen you know i, I at least give you props to you're not even you're making my job easier old media a lot of times they're closeted racist people and you could tell, but they won't come out and do something this flagrant. You know, they're not going to flagrant foul. They're going to come up with these little smaller ordeals. But at least she makes it easy to see uh, what it is. Joe Biden says he got a clear victory. And she says, no, you stole. And then now she can't even um, take the heat. And she deactivated her account. I mean, this is embarrassing. This, I can't wait. We need to demand demand resolution a prompt resolution from the WBA and give this kid his belt back. Whatever we need to do, we need to really work towards that goal. Unite. We need to unionize and get this kid his belt back. It was clear as day. And, and the funny thing is, she just said Joe Biden stole the election and you just stole the fight from this black kid, Michael Fox. So the irony from racists is off the chain. It's off the chain. You robbed this kid of getting the fight look al bernstein's been boxing he's been in boxing he was in the rocky five movie al bernstein works with showtime he's been in boxing probably longer than i've been an adult or born i don't know exactly what year he started but he said i just watched my astray fox fight i never make statements like this but that terrible decision was pure wba corruption and the three judges and he names them gloria martinez included should never judge another professional bout it all stops here share the video what they did was criminal and she a racist gotta go gotta go man it's over it's over get her out of boxing we will not stop until she is out of boxing share the video that's all i gotta say shout out to michael fox and everybody let's go